In this video, we're going to take a look at sheets. Now you may have noticed on the right hand side within Maker Plus that the project tree has an extra item called sheets. So I'm going to explain to you what these actually are. So what you can do is, let's say I open up the sheets and you can see that I've got a default sheet. So what I can do is draw something, let's say like so, and this is drawn on the default sheet, okay? Now what I can also do is add more sheets to this. So basically it's like layers, but using sheet sizes. So if I were to click here to select new sheet, or I could right click and select new, it would take me to sheet one. So this is now sheet one. And you can see that my vector's gone. Okay, so what I can do then is draw again. And you can see that this is on sheet one. If I go back to the default sheet, then I've got my circle, sheet one, and I've got my square that I created. If we take a look in the 2D view, you'll be able to see both of these sheets side by side. So if I switch over to the 2D view and zoom out, you can see that I've got sheet one, which is active, and you can see that it's in yellow, and it's also got the white space behind it. And then I've got the default sheet on the right-hand side, which has got the circle, but it hasn't been highlighted and it hasn't got the white space behind it. So that is not going to be used. So the active one is this one with the white area behind it. So what I can do is just switch between the two and then I could just machine either one of those sheets as I see fit. So I can just switch between the two like so and just keep on switching and then I can just machine each one however I like. Now, I'll be completely honest with you, the only time that I really use this is when I use nesting, and I want it to go over multiple sheets of material. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at nesting, and you'll see how these work in sort of a real world scenario. Now, another useful thing that you can do with these is to generate a sheet report. So this is more for maybe production based applications. And what you can do is let's say that you've got multiple sheets cutting parts out. What you can do is right click and then select sheet report and all. What this does, it generates a sheet report, which tells you what's going to be cut on each sheet. It also tells you the width and the height of the sheet, and it will give you the toolpath data underneath if you have any. I haven't created any toolpaths, that's why you can't see it. And then you've got a different sheet here, and it gives you the toolpath data for that sheet. Now you can do these one by one if you wanted to, select the sheet, and then you can just select sheet report and it will just give you that sheet report for that one particular sheet. Now, as I said, this is probably more geared towards production based applications really, <laughs> when you want to machine over multiple sheets and they maybe put the part together at the end or you just want to get as many parts out of a sheet that you possibly can going over multiple sheets. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at nesting. And this is where it becomes really, really useful because when you nest, you want to maximize the material and you can have it going over multiple sheets of material. And you'll see this in a real world sort of application.